Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to the video. In this video I'll be talking about ingest processor on each element of an array or object in Elasticsearch. Let me give you a use case why or what this is all about, right? So we were working on Elasticsearch, right? As you guys know, we, we have Elasticsearch in my company as well. So what happened was um, we have all like a lot of documents and we have a field inside an array of object. It's called link, right? And this is essentially some URL. Now we had to essentially update all the documents, um, uh, the URL, right? So we had to update the URL of all the documents in the Elasticsearch. So um, the first way we was like, okay, so you know what? Let's write a Python script, which will iterate over the, all the documents using a page generator object in Elasticsearch and you know, we'll essentially update it. But I was like, wait, wait, wait. I did read in the past that we have something called ingest pipelines in Elasticsearch or essentially pipelines. So why not, uh, why to write all those Python code and why, why couldn't I just do this in Elasticsearch on Kibana, right? So let me show you what the use case is about uh, without further wasting our time. So consider again, this is for a demo purposes that I'm showing you. I have a JSON document here. And if you observe, I have a um, array of objects, right? This is an object, it's an array. So the use case here is there's a field called link, right? I want to update all the documents in this index called Soundmill, right? Uh, and the way I want to form the URL is basically, again, this is just an example that I'm showing you these, okay? So say that the, this links are malformed and we have to update all the links, right? So the new link, uh, basically the, dom the domain name has changed, right? So we have to update every single uh, item, uh, in a, every single document uh, that has the field called link, right? So basically I want something like sawmill chart. So my, my URL should be like, HTTPS, then it is Somilcha, that because the domain has changed, whatever, CV slash, let's take, uh, you know, maybe job ID here, and then followed by a resume ID, right? So I want to essentially recreate, let's just put this one here, and then I'll try to explain. These are, again, random numbers that I have taken. It doesn't resemble to anything, though, but I just want to show you. So what I want to do, the use case or the ask is for all the items, all the documents that I have in Elk, all the URL, I want to update the, 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 the link field that I have for all the documents. And I want to essentially have it in this format. So I want to take the job ID um, and then I want to take the resume ID and I want to add the domain called saumilcha.com slash CV uh, because uh, for some reason, let's say this link is not good, right? And we have to update all these documents. So one obvious way is you'll say, okay, I'll iterate over, I'll write a Python script, but that is too much of work. You could actually do that using ingest pipeline, right? So allow me to show you. Over here, um, what we are saying is put ingest pipeline and you're providing the name of the pipeline. You are essentially providing a description here. Now we have something called processor. Processor and here we are using a for each, okay? So basically we're gonna iterate over that, right? So we are saying for each, this has a field attribute and now we are saying the response.profile.resumes. So we are saying that I have a JSON inside response, inside profile, inside resume, go inside, okay? Go inside that and then we are saying set means you wanna update a field. So we are saying ingest.value.link which means we are saying inside this, I wanna update this particular field, right? Now what we are doing is basically we are providing a value. So again, I provided my new domain name that is https.saumilsha.com and if you observe curly braces and I'll try my best to show you on notepad because uh, for the font size. So what happens here is uh, if you observe this line right here, ingest.value.jobid. So we are using double curly braces which means we are telling the pipeline to inject the variable called job ID into this placeholder, right? We are going to take the placeholder job ID one, two, three, whatever that is. And then we are going to form our new URL, right? So now if I run this, right? So first of all, I'll create my pipeline. Acknowledge true, which means the pipeline has been created, right? Now, uh, if needed, I could also simulate my pipeline to see if it is working or not. So here I'm saying ingest pipeline, my pipeline underscore simulate, right? And I'm providing a sample JSON document, right? So if I do that, I, I could see the output here. Okay, so it did essentially replace that, right? Now, if needed, I could apply my pipeline on, on my index. So I'm saying 
apply my pipeline on the index called sawmill and I'm using update by query and pipeline is equal to my pipeline, the name of the pipeline. So if I run this, the pipeline has completed and now if I query the index, so we'll say get sawmill search and there you can see all the uh, URL has now been updated, right? So uh, what did we learn from this exercise is essentially we, if there is any need that you have to update something or if you want to transform something instead of writing Python jobs, you could actually use ingest pipeline and on, essentially maybe you want to convert into an uppercase or maybe you want to add a new field or update a field or create a field from multiple fields. So those are the scenarios where you should be looking at an ingest pipeline, right? Instead of writing Python uh, script, then iterating over that, it works fine, but it's just a lot of work. You could just do all of that very easily on the ingest pipeline. Yes, you just have to do a little bit of reading and hopefully with that reading, uh, you should be able to, you know, do, do that, right? Um, I will share one of the links here. Uh, this is the website, right? I'll, I'll share the resources here, right? So again, one more example here is the item, right? Let's say you wanna convert everything into uppercase on all the documents, right? So here you can see we are using uppercase and we are saying, you know, field dot value. And now all the uh, items are essentially converted into an uppercase. Another example, we have a person entity, uh, JSON documents that we have, right? Here we are saying, uh, remove ingest value.id. So we are essentially removing a field called ID. For some reason we don't want it. So there you go, right? So there are a lot of use cases, and I, I recommend you guys to read. I recommend you guys to try out. Um, I'm a special shout off to Birendra Singh. Thank you so much, man, for sharing those snippets with me if you're watching the video. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much guys for watching. I encourage you guys to check the ingest pipeline and especially the for each processor, right? Um, they have a nice documentation. They have nice example here. So um, strongly encourage you to come and, and, and check, check this out. They have syntax and example as well. All right, enough. That's all I have for this video. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I'll see you guys next time.